Ain't you leave? Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Adam Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Adam Fog exclusive. We are we are 26 hours away from uh, the guys' race uh, tomorrow up in Ames, which is a perfect spot for us. We've done a lot of our best racing up there for the indoor season. It's you know 40 minutes up the road, an easy trip, and uh, and we get helped out to run some great times. So I'm I'm I cannot get more excited than I am right now. Um, I think we've done all the right stuff getting ready for this. I know um, really. I, I myself took a lot of confidence away from seeing Adam run um, 223 for the K pretty pretty effortlessly um, and uh, I know with the with the volume he's done coming in from a good winter of training special things can happen with him and Isaac uh, doing special things together in the same race uh, it can be a great day but um, with that comes a little bit of pressure I like to think of it more though as just a hell of an opportunity so hopefully we can take advantage of that opportunity run some great times and uh, really enjoy the heck out of it um, at the end of the day just got some strides in just got a jog in did five miles at like seven minute pace did my strides did two by 200 at like 28 and then three by 100 like one race pace then one really fast then one back at race pace just the same routine we always do it felt pretty good honestly um, just really excited for another opportunity to race three really worldwide runners like this is going to be amazing and like whether we get wins tomorrow and whether we run a fast time we just we just want to get to nationals it's just another opportunity to get time to get there and i think this might be my best one for the rest of the year so i'm really excited not taking anything for granted and i'm just going to go out there and do what i do yeah, just finish up with uh, an easy jog up on the treadmills and a few strides. Uh, we spiked up for them 2x200, two 3x100, by by uh, as the man Bastion was saying. Um, and yeah, there's not really much else to say. Bastion said it pretty well himself. Uh, we're feeling good. I think we're pretty ready to go. The work we've been doing is, uh, it's been really good recently. So I think we're both uh, feeling good, ready to roll. Um, ideally, tomorrow, you know, we'll... In an ideal world, we'll go one, two, run national qualifiers for the mile. Um, I think we're both in shape to run pretty quick. Uh, it might end up taking like 3.57 this year to qualify for indoor nationals, but that's what's got to be done and that's what we'll do. Um, well, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned. Uh, big race coming up. Looking forward to it. the mile uh, 2022 opener.
Mike Bahaki. Great race, man. Thank you, baby. Oh my god. I didn't want to leave that. But yeah. That is awesome. True, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, good, good. Really good. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, at the start, like, um, Kip to, oh no, the, the pacer was taking it, and uh, me and Festus Legout, who's a 144, 800 guy, kind of were looking at each other like, come on, who's taking it? He didn't want it. I ended up taking it and just had to grind it out. Last, like, 700 on my own, so tough but happy really happy to get that win and uh, I know there are a few people doubting me in the comments <laughs> saying I'm not in sub 4 shape yet 356.6 uh, there you go we got a workout now we're heading upstairs to the treadmill the fog dog <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, heading upstairs doing a workout on the treadmill because the work doesn't stop uh, I've got a long way to go but it's progress Awesome. Congratulations, Thank you. So, back on the bus after a great meet, all the way around, everyone had a pretty damn good day. Uh, myself personally, I set out a nice big goal of uh, getting under 830 in the 3K. So I was able to do that, just dipped under with an 828. Uh, there's a few more guys that I wanted to pick off, and especially in our conference with Bradley, um, which I wasn't quite able to get. But it was still a pretty good day overall, and I'm happy with the time that I ran. So. What's next? Uh, I think we're going to Nebraska in a few weeks. I'm not sure what I'll race there. I'm going to be focusing longer distances more on the 5K later in the season. So maybe get another mile in, try to get another PR. Uh, just anything to run a little fast. Oh, what do we got going on here, boys? We've made it back to uh, back to Drake. Only a 40-minute drive, actually. Pretty pretty short drive, just up the road. Uh, we got some American football on right now. Uh, Green Bay against. I don't know, San Francisco maybe? Yep, yeah. yeah. San Fran, I got it right. Uh, it was SF that I could see, so pretty pretty decent guess. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we've made it back. Uh, 356.6 today in the mile, uh, and then a little fart like workout after. Um, so pretty happy with that. That's NCAA number six right now. So I think it should, hopefully, it should lock me in for Nationals Indoor. Um, that are in kind of early mid-March uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, so hopefully I'll be there. I feel like I should be with 356.6, but the NCA is pretty crazy right now. You never know what's what's around the corner. Um, but anyway, this week uh, I've been using Beat It uh, Sports little like beetroot juice uh, shots. It's literally like a tiny little shot of beetroot. Um, and I just wanted to put it in the video uh, because I'm going to do an unsponsored random kind of giveaway. So if you can guess the time that I run at Milrose that's in a week from right now, uh, I will personally pay for a pack of 15 of these uh, that you can use for yourself. So um, yeah, you have to go down in the comments on this video, predict my mile time for next week at Milrose, one comment per person. Um, Predict the time. If anyone gets it bang on, uh, so bang on to the hundredth of a second, I will personally send you a set of these. Uh, you get 15 of them, and it's kind of like you have one a day. I've never really tried beetroot juice before, but I'd kind of heard of the benefits. Um, so I've been trying them this week. Uh, yeah, and I don't know if it helped or not, but I felt good out there today. So. Comment down below, what am I going to run at Milrose next week? I mean, hopefully I'll run fast. Hopefully I'll run faster than I did today, but who knows? Running is running. Anything can happen. Um, but yeah, if anyone gets it bang on, I will...
buy you a set of these and get them delivered to your house. Uh, you get 15 of them to try for yourself. So thanks for watching. Uh, good day on the track. <clears throat> good day on the track. I've got a bit of track hack. Uh, hopefully not COVID. Uh, just you know, the inside air gets gets pretty uh, pretty dry when you're running. Um, but yeah, good day. Uh, looking forward to the next one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.